Today's movie is Color Out of Space, a new adaptation of the H.P. Lovecraft short story directed by Man of the Woods Richard Stanley and starring Nicolas Cage. What a time to be alive. In this movie, Cage plays the father in a family of five who all live in a secluded farm in rural Massachusetts. A meteor falls from space and lands on the property, and I'm guessing that no one in the family has ever seen a science fiction B-movie from the 50s because they don't immediately pack up and leave. Soon the meteor starts emitting a quote-unquote mysterious color unlike any scene on Earth. I uh, think we call that pink. Fuchsia if you want to get more specific. The color starts infecting the area around the family, altering their homes, their bodies, and the passage of time itself. Did you guys see Annihilation? If Annihilation was the classy, artsy, slow burn version of the story, Color Out of Space is the wacky B-movie version that you might watch at midnight with a bunch of drunk people in a theater across the street from a bay that enters Lake Michigan. That description may have only made sense to me. Welcome back to the cage of kids. As the owner of a face-off poster and a Seeking Justice poster, 4 out of 10 movie. I am highly enjoying Cage's late period transition into cult horror films. I think that Color Out of Space may be the best one of these yet. This movie was an insane ride, mixing otherworldly terror with bizarre comedy in that special way that only a Nick Cage movie can do. I loved him in this. He threw himself into this role with all the crazy gusto that we know and love him for. Cage fans will love that he's brought back his vampire's kiss voice for the first time in 30 years. Where's Sam? <laughs> they must have got him. They? Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Nothing has been f***ing this place up. You know, I've had it with your drama. Shouldn't the copy be in that file? It should, right? Yes. Right? Yep, 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 yep. You'll laugh at his nutty antics in certain scenes, and in others, he strangely brings everything down to earth. In the most disturbing scene of the film, he delivers his lines so coldly, the movie suddenly gets very real, and you are very, very uncomfortable for the rest of the film. There is some truly nasty and disturbing imagery in the movie, and it feels earned and not there to just be shocking. It's built up to, it's explained, and it adds to the story. It all comes together to make the movie a descent into madness and a metaphor for a family going through cancer. Not that. You know what I meant. Overall, I'll be giving Color Out of Space an 8 out of 10. I highly enjoyed this film and I recommend it to ages 5 and up. Rent it and watch it with grandma and your little nieces and nephews. They'll have a great time.